look, I'm not the alarmist state, but I have to say this. Um, I was, I've got a day off. Uh, I worked this last weekend. Uh, it was crazy as always. Um, I'm just glad to have a job, to be honest. Uh, looking around, uh, people losing jobs left, right, and centre. Uh, supposedly the economy is opening up, but I don't know how. Um, the lockdowns are still kind of in place. Um, I walk past the flight centre here in North Sydney and you know they're doing deals, uh, holiday deals. I mean who's thinking about holidays now? Uh, the only holiday I'm thinking about is going to Queensland. I can't even go to Queensland without being quarantined for 14 days. I mean what, what other holiday would I be thinking about? Maybe uh, driving up to Newcastle which is fine by me but half of the places will be closed and everything is going to be cordoned off and uh, what's fun in that and uh, you go out and you have to sign in uh, give your details give, you give your phone number you have to walk you can't walk around the bar uh, or a pub uh, I can I think you can pretty much forget about the bands so w w what can you do you have to be set down in the pub and you can't move you can't you, you're not really allowed to get close to other people and like I said you you definitely can't move around uh, so what holiday deals are they talking about and looking at some of these share prices just pumping like you wouldn't believe because of the future expectation there's I, I don't I, I know I've been called bearish but uh, and they've called it new normal the economy is really going to take a very, very long time before it comes back to where it was. The, the permanent damage has been done. Uh, there's been a lot of businesses who have gone out of business or are going to go out of business after September once this, uh, let's call it stimulus, job keeper assistance and all the other stuff the government's throwing into on, and onto this uh, ends. Many businesses will realize that they don't need a certain kind of staff. Uh, they'll try and do business different ways. Uh, a lot of people will be working from home. Uh, we've never, we were never allowed to work from home at my, uh, in my team uh, anyway. And now we're working from home for a few months permanently, and it's working out really well. Uh, and to be honest, apart from uh, some human interaction and seeing the team, I don't really need to go into the office. And to be honest, again. Uh, getting there in the morning at six o'clock that in winter we start shift at six o'clock don't ask it's crazy <laughs> it's a line to uh, New York or um, East um, Coast time in the US being four in the afternoon so just the way it works that's fine but I don't know how I was able to get into the office at 545 uh, last winter the winter before uh, it's just crazy so I'm happy to just get up at 5.30 and uh, get ready and get in front of my computer about quarter to six, which is early enough. Uh, but that's just my story. What about all the other people that, uh, again, are working from home? And I don't know about you, but uh, my spending habits have uh, changed completely. Uh, pretty much spending less. Um, there's less for me to spend on. I'd, I'd like to go into places that are not open anymore. I'd like to, again, I mentioned it many times, I, I'd like to go back up to Queensland, uh, warm up a little bit, um, stay at the Star, and, um, you know, but you can't. The, the casino's closed. Uh, I don't gamble, but it's a long story. <laughs> I like staying there. Uh, there's no point going there. Half of the stuff will be closed. Not to mention that I think you, I'll still have to quarantine myself for 14 days because I've just crossed this imaginary administrative uh, border between uh, one state to another state of the same country. It, it's completely insane. I, I don't know uh, when they're going to stop this. Now they're talking about the uh, some of the cases of this CV um, popping up again in the US and uh, Europe and potentially all around. I mean, they've been talking about this second wave. What happens if they do the second wave? That Then it's really a disaster. Again, I've, uh, this seems like a, a negative video. Today's my Saturday, yet yeah, it's Wednesday for everybody else. <laughs> so happy hump day for everybody else. Happy Saturday for me. I've got a few days off now. Uh, so I shouldn't be negative, and I'm not, but I, like I said, I walk past the um, flight center and it says we're doing deals for holidays what holidays who is going to put their money down uh, deposit down on some holiday uh, providing that the CV doesn't spread and the governments don't go mad again locking everybody down 
there's no confidence, there's no need to get into the holiday deal. There's no need to lock it in until it's all clear. And they're telling us it's not going to be clear. Fauci is saying it's not going to be clear for, for months and maybe for the rest of the year and, and longer, uh, which just you know tells you stay where you are. If you can keep the job, do that. Look after yourself and uh, look after your people you care about. They have definitely shifted people's uh, conscience uh, with this, uh, again, spending habits, uh, these being uh, economies that depend on uh, consumer spending, consumer confidence, um, that's been shattered. Uh, and once again, even the consumers that want to spend, they haven't got that many options to spend. So it's, uh, I hate to say interesting times, I hate to say tricky times, because that doesn't tell us anything. Uh, all the times are always interesting, even when things are doing really well. That's all very interesting. Um, when it's not so well like now, well, you can call it interesting. So I, I really don't like people saying oh, it's interesting times ahead. It just doesn't tell you anything. But uh, what do you think with this uh, stock market pump yesterday, a drop two days before, uh, and that sort of stuff? What can we expect? Is this economy completely um, split from the reality or is the, are the market split from the reality? Uh, people's uh, favorite uh, st topic and subject of uh, Australian property, where's that going to go? Who's going to pay for these? Uh, I mean, you yeah, can drop rates as much as I want. I've said it before. Uh, if you don't have the, uh, the job, uh, what can you expect? I mean, how, how can you get yourself into a $800,000 loan, for example? I mean, it's uh, just kind of scary. <laughs> But with that, uh, give me some positives, uh, give me some positive uh, thoughts and news uh, posted in the description there. Uh, I'd love to hear some. I learn a lot from the comments. I read all of them. I appreciate them. Uh, and that'll do for now. Thanks again and uh, stay in touch. Bye for now.